It's time to break up the Skittles to talk about cardiac action potential. Okay, so let's look at the cardiac action potential from the graph perspective. This is our resting state right here. Our inside of our cells sit at about minus 70 millivolts on a regular basis at our resting potential, resting state. And then in order to create action potential or depolarization, we need to at least get become a slightly more positive at minus 55. And at its very peak inside the cell, we're going to be roughly around plus 30 millivolts. We're going to get pretty high on the millivolt side of things event once we hit our peak. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to manipulate things like sodium and potassium. And so we you see here are these gates and at resting potential right here our gate is closed meaning that nothing is shifting we have sodium on the outside and potassium on the inside like so and that's where their perspective states are when they're resting and then once action potential is going to occur we're stimulated our nerves are stimulated whatever the kind of the case that is what's going to happen is that we're going to open this sodium channel and by opening this sodium channel it's going to allow sodium to move from the outside of the cell to the inside of the cell and by doing that, we're creating more positive energy inside the cell, meaning that we're going to have this spike and then we're going to have more gates open and more sodium is going to move into the cell, creating a more positive potential inside the cell, creating the mechanical contraction of what we're trying to create. Now, once we get to that point, our sodium channels are going to close. And when they close, that means that we're going to kind of lose a little bit of that potential here. You see this little spike and then it kind of starts to peter off. Well, why that occurs is because as soon as we create action potential and we have that depolarization, our potassium channels are going to open right about here. And when they open, it allows potassium to move from inside the cell to outside the cell. And they're going to continue to open, opening more channels, allowing for more sodium or more, more potassium to move inside the cell to outside the cell. And what that's going to do is it's going to try and recover. It's trying to reset the cell and bring it back to resting potential. So we use potassium to prepare for that and get them down to this resting state by moving potassium from inside the cell to outside the cell in the repolarization phase. If you love our videos here, then you're going to love our illustrated notes. It's chock full of things like cheat sheets, anatomy and physiology, and literally everything in between that you can imagine. This is 21 pages long, and it's chock full of really cool illustrated notes for you. If you love this package, all you need to do is hit the link in our bio and download them from there.